Hello and welcome to This Is A Man's World. It's been a while. So as you guys may or may not know, I'm a construction site engineer and I set up This Is A Man's World to try and inspire other girls to join me in the industry. Um, I also wanted to shed some light on other careers that are also male dominated to just see if we can change the figures. Um, so this week I have got a guest vlog for you. Um, her name's Jess and she's a mechanical engineer and she's kindly answered some questions that I had for her and I hope that you guys are going to be super inspired by her. Um, I hope, I know you are. So here we go, take it away Jess. Yeah, so my name is Jess. I'm a mechanical engineer. Um, I'm currently doing my master's in mechanical engineering. I did my bachelor's in mechanical and aeronautical engineering. I'm doing my master's in Switzerland, which is pretty fun, at ETH Zurich. And I'm also a whitewater kayaker. So in my master's, my research actually focuses on combustion and specifically thermoacoustic coupling within a gas turbine. I do the modeling to make sure that everything's gonna run smoothly so that a company doesn't build the engine and then finds out that it doesn't work. So actually, I wasn't exposed to engineering. I didn't really even know what engineering was. The only exposure I had was I remember watching Kim Possible and seeing her, her mom. I remember her mom was a neuroscientist or a brain surgeon or something. And her dad was a, a rocket scientist. And I thought that was so cool. That is why I decided to go into mechanical engineering because of Kim Possible, so thank you. So actually at McGill, the ratio of men to women or women to men was pretty good. And when I say pretty good, there were uh, about 20% women or 15% girls in our classes. But here in Switzerland, there's no girls. There's one other girl in my lab and in my classes there were maybe two out of 30 to 40 or whatever so there's really not that many girls and yeah there I think there should be more girls and I don't think it's because girls aren't interested I think girls are interested but I think the narrative that we push towards people is that you have to be a genius you know like oh engineering is really hard only geniuses can do that or only um, in science only it's only meant for people that are really smart and that's absolutely not true and I think that mindset steers a lot of people away from the scientists both men and women So actually I have no problem coping in a male dominated field. Of course it would be so much nicer to have more women. Um, it's just nicer to be able to see people that are like you in those professions. The only problem I have being in this male dominated field is when people say little things like, oh, you're an engineer? Or, oh, that's a man's profession, isn't it? Or like just these little subtle things. Like it's not like they're saying, you can't be an engineer because you're a woman. They're not saying things like that. It's just like people off the street or my cab driver or when people are like, oh, you're an engineer? Or, oh, don't, you, have, you must be really smart. Things like that, they bother me because then it makes it seem like it's not normal or like, you know, no, people want to fit in. And so when people say things like that, it makes me not feel like I'm fitting in or like I'm doing something wrong, you know, so. Uh, that's the, really the only problem that I have. In the past I did experimental when I was doing my undergraduate in Montreal and it's just so hard doing experimental work because things never work the way you want them to. They never will. <laughs> it always goes a different direction. It doesn't mean that like it's necessarily bad like sometimes you end up somewhere new that you didn't think you could ever get to but just the nature of experimental work 
you know, parts break or you order a part and it doesn't arrive in time and it just takes such a long time. The patience is really one day-to-day -day challenge with experimental work. In terms of numerical work, yeah, it's the same thing. Why doesn't this program work? What is wrong with it? And then all of a sudden it just starts to work and you don't know why. So I would say the, pa the challenge, like one of the main challenges with research in mechanical engineering would be in like experimental and numerical work is patience. The company needs mechanical engineers. So for me, I want to get into research and industry, but you can, in every industry, they need quality engineers or design engineers or site engineers that oversee what is going on. Um, or even I have some friends that do little software programming for the bank and they were traditionally um, trained to be mechanical engineers. So really, the thing that you have, the main thing to know when you're going into an engineering profession is that it doesn't like, you're not going to be limited if you study chemical engineering and then you wished you wanted, you wanted to go into software engineering. I have a friend that studied mechanical engineering and now he works for Microsoft as a software engineer and he has no software engineering um, education. He just taught himself. So really, the main thing to remember in any career opportunity is that there's a millions of different ways to get to your end goal and not to get lost in this idea that there's just one path because that's absolutely not true. I mostly enjoy my work because I like the idea that I'm working on something that is directly going to benefit people. So my work in thermoacoustics is directly related to reducing NOx emissions and reducing NOx emissions will be directly beneficial for the environment and for society. And so knowing that, that's what keeps me going. That's what I really like. I don't think we have to convince women. I think women are convinced. I don't think women are the problem. I think it's just edu like our education system and society and the way that we portray science as this like really difficult thing and it's not meant for you guys, you know? I think that's really the problem is that we're not marketing science properly to people. And I think that's how we can get more women involved in STEM degrees. Don't let other people define what success is to you. How awesome is Jess? So I hope you guys found that inspiring. And if you've got any questions for her, I'm going to put links in the description for her Instagram and YouTube. Go ahead and follow Jess. And um, I'll be back real soon.